and welcome to Mbox Extreme. Uh, this video is for our customers who actually have Extreme Wizard, <clears throat> excuse me, already installed on their uh, boxes. You'll see Extreme Wizard, they'll probably be on the right hand side. I just put it on here pretty quick just for the demonstration. All right, so um, this is for Extreme Wizard. This is our new update system. This is for our custom build update system, which is what it is. It'll actually, whenever we do a new update for a custom build, what gives you all the new content, uh, anything isn't working, we would fix or replace. Um, it's, it's, it's a must have. You When you buy uh, streaming boxes, you need to make sure you buy from somebody who, who, who puts updates out. Otherwise, the add-ons are just going to stop working and you're not going to be able to get anything. All right, so we do a custom build update every, probably every few months when things change on Cody. And so our previous system, you know, um, is was for, uh, we had our own repository and built into the Cody uh, software. And this is just a step above that. And this is, this is, uh, this is a very good uh, update system. Um, now, whenever we do a custom build, you will be prompt by an orange screen message, letting you know that there is a new custom build available. And you can install it directly from there. You go to the build menu, click the build the, the build you want, the, the updated version, and then uh, do a fresh install. I'll do a separate video for that. But right now, I need to, we need to actually install the Extreme Wizard because you have to have the Install Wizard Extreme. And you have to have the Extreme Wizard installed to be able to receive the message of the new build. You have to have a, a, a custom build installed from the Extreme Wizard. Uh, this will also save all your real debris uh, authorizations. So you know, whenever you um, do a new build, you have to reauthorize real debris. You have to authorize URL resolver, and you have to reauthorize um, resolver URL. Uh, this will actually do that for you. It'll save your uh, authorizations, and it'll automatically load them up when you do a new build. Uh, if you have our Extreme TV service, or our Saturn Stream service, or Live TV service. Uh, this will also save your logins. So when you put a new build on, it'll automatically uh, reload uh, your data, your login data. And you won't have to do that either. And this will also do weekly maintenance. Um, you'll have, you don't have to worry about clearing thumbnails or clearing cache. Uh, once a week, this will automatically do it uh, whenever like, you reboot your box or, any, or um, power your box on. All right, so uh, now if you have Extreme wizard already uh, underneath system uh, just open it up and you'll see that it says current build says none all right so first thing we need to do is we need to go to now if you have any of our live tv service or real debris we need to go to save data because we have to set this up for the very first time once we have this set up we won't need to do this again It'll automatically it's just for the first go around all right so click on save data I right, go to Real Debrid, and you'll see that it doesn't have the actual uh, data saved yet. It has the add-on data saved, but not the saved data. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what you want to do is you want to go down where it says Save All Real Debrid Data, and just select that. And now you'll see everything is saved. Also, what you want to do is if if it says save real debris data is if this is actually off, you want to click this and put it on. Uh, it probably is on. This is a fresh, I just, I just installed the wizard now for this uh, video installation. So that's why it was off, but you, it'll probably already be on for you. All right. So then you go back and now if you have any of our live TV services, you want to go to keep login info and same thing. You want to go down to save all login data. And they're both saved. And also make sure this is saved on. All right, so then what you want to do now is you want to go down, whoops, go back one more. You want to go to maintenance. And you want to change auto clean frequency to every week or weekly. All right, you don't want to do it every single day, so 
just whatever you do a weekly. When you power your box on, if it's been a week or so, it'll automatically uh, do your maintenance for you. All right, so now that's done. What we want to do is go to builds. And whatever, whichever build you want. Um, don't worry about the version numbers right now because when the next video I want to do, I'm going to have to push an update to do a demonstration to show you how the, uh, what it looks like when it pops up on your screen and the process to actually install a new custom build. So I'm just going to install our regular custom build, not the adult version. So you just want to click on that. And you want to do a fresh install. All right. You see right now it's saving our login data for Real to Bridge, Saturn Streams, and Extreme TV. And just go over and hit continue. It's going to clear our files and folders. And then after it does this, you're going to see it's going to start uh, downloading. It's going to download twice. It's going to, do, it's going to do this whole process and it's going to redo it again. And then you're going to have a force close. So what I'll do is I'm just going to pause the video while it does, does all the downloading and I'll bring it right back uh, when it's finished. Okay. That's done downloading now. All right. So now what you need to do is just go on and click on force close. If your box happens to reboot twice or freezes up, that's fine. It's no big deal. It just takes a little time. All right, so now what you need to do is you just have to let the box sit so everything uh, installs, which normally you have to do anyway when you power your box on or you reboot it. Normally, I wait for the weather temperature to show up and, and maybe about 20 seconds, 10, 20 seconds after that. And then I'll, you know, I'll go and start navigating or whatever I want to do. Otherwise, if you just go directly into doing what you're doing, it's not going to... Um, you're going to get errors and you're not going to be able to open up anything. You're going to get the spin in circle. So you just got to give it time. Especially now you just got to let the, um, every time you do this too, the custom build, you got to let the, um, see now the wizard, it's um, saving the details. There they are. URL resolver, Saturn streams, extreme TVs restored. Uh, just remove some files. The wizard uh, did some maintenance. And then once that's done, then we're, we, you know, we're good now. All right. So now just to make sure everything is uh, installed correctly. We're going to go to system and we're going to go to extreme wizard. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to save uh, data, make sure our data is safe. We're going to go to real debris and we can see here, everything's green. Everything's good. It's saved. Now we don't have to reauthorize it again, like before. And our Saturn streams and our stream TV say, we don't have to go back in and uh, re-enter our login information. And what we need to do is go back into maintenance because previously before this, we really didn't have to change it to always. We didn't have to do it then because we were going to do it. Then. And actually it's, it's already to weekly. So that's good then. All right. But if, it, but if we didn't change it before, it would probably say always and we had to change it anyway. So actually changing it wasn't, that actually worked pretty good then. All right. So that's it then. So now you'll see here, it says uh, current build, custom build one. And when I have a new update, it'll be like 1.1 or 2.1. Uh, the number doesn't really matter. Like I said, I'm going to do a, a new video when I do a new build, and it will show you uh, what to expect. when you. All right, so have a good night. If you need to uh, ask me any questions, you can just email me at mboxextreme at gmail.com. All right, thank you.